This is my third video now in uh, which I'm going through the, the processes of trying to uh, create this uh, LED illuminated letter, which in this case is an S. Um, and uh, let's just see what I got to. Um, yeah, so rather than making an S, uh, I'm now making an A and I'm going to go through the whole process and when I'm done, I'll, I'll have a glowing A as well. Um, and what I want to look at is, let's just bring up Fusion 360 again. Yeah, so with the S, you know, I was working in 2D design for the laser cut acrylic front um, and working in with Fusion 360 for the 3D printed main body of the of the light. Um, and to be able to work between the two, I'm wanting to create some very specific engineering drawings. So those are the details for the S. I've made this serif A, which is a more complicated uh, style of uh, font and what I need to do is just make sure that I get all my dimensions for this shape mapped out in detail so that's now the objective for this video okay um, so what I'm going to actually do here is I'm going to take this one here um, I'm going to take it to the right I've got to uh, quite a bit to the right actually. I've got a gridlock turned on here so everything's snapping to the grid. Uh, let's take this again, let's copy it, let's paste it. I, I do this a lot. I do lots and lots of kind of duplication of things because I want to make sure that uh, I don't make any silly mistakes. Everything's kept clean and neat and, and in 2D design there's only one chance to undo. The undo buffer is just one action which is really annoying but there you go. The rest of the program is awesome in my mind. Um, let's see what I'm going to do with this. There's a few superfluous things I don't want. So let's just come to the delete any tool. I'm going to delete this framed background. I'm also going to delete the original A. Let me show you what I mean by that. If this is the original A here, if I come to the solid fill, that was the original A. Properties, there we are. We had it in Brussels, Demi, 150 millimeters in height, all that jazz. I am now going to get rid of that because I want to work with the detailed polylines uh, and arcs and circles that I specifically drew on the grid. Okay, what else do I have to do here? Well, now I'm going to keep that as it is. I'm going to try something here actually. If I delete that part, that arc, sorry, and that arc, yeah, I keep that dimension. I wonder if I can come to dimension line tools, get like a radius and do oh, isn't that cool? I'm loving that. Let's do that. Oh, cool. I love discovering cool things. There we are. Do I need to have it twice? Je ne sais pas. Oh it's for consistency I will. Let's get rid of I don't want to get rid of the whole circle there. I just want to get rid of the arc. So delete part. Boom, bada boom, bada boom, bada boom. You know, you might turn around and say, well, why didn't I duplicate this? Well, actually, with hindsight, yeah, I I should have done. Anyway, here I am. I'm, I'm going to continue down this route. That's 15 millimeters. That's 15 millimeters. I'm going to do something a bit different here as well. I'm going to select all of those. Oh, I can't. Okay, no, no. Okay, I'll start again. Well, what am I doing here? Hang on, let's work this out. I'm going to right click on die my dimension settings. <laughs> I'm going to go to line color. I'm going to make this to be darkish, darkish gray, darkish gray. That looks good. And let's make the text. Oh, I'm just fiddling around now, aren't I? Let's make the text three millimeters and let's make the arrows three in length. Okay, whatever, whatever. Let's see how that looks. Oh, that looks so much neater. Oh, that looks pro. Oh yeah, there you go, cool. Uh, what else have I got to do here? Let's have a see. I want to get to a dimensioning tool here. Oh, I need to go to step lock. Remember, I've got step lock here at 2.5 millimeters and the main grid is five. Super important. Let's put some dimensions on here. That's 35. Hopefully I can see all this there. Okay. There. What's that dimension there? I want to try and get everything in. Okay. That height. Now I'm not going to worry about doing that height again over here because effectively that's that's all in line. I hope that's clear. I hope so. Uh, let's just get this dimension line here. Bring that down. 
this one here where am I going to put that I'll put it there uh, I'm not worried about that arc there but what I am bothered about is I want to get this height now yes 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 in terms of dimensioning heights if if I do this then I get like the 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 literal length of the line and I want to have the the height of this point above this horizontal and I don't want that I don't want to know it's 49.81 that's in my mind that's not helping let's undo the last one there what I want to do is go to my dimension lines tool here and I want to get a vertical dimensioning tool perfect and I want to go from there to there that's what I want 47.5 look all of these dimensions they're all factors of 2.5 they're all divisible by 2.5 which is my step lock or step spacing um, Okay, let's get an overall dimension of the whole design like that. Remember, I'm still looking with my vertical dimensioning. Uh, that looks good. Let's have a see. Um, it would be useful, I think, to have that dimension there. And it would be useful as well to have this dimension too. Now I've got a problem here because everything is kind of building up. So I think what I'm going to have to do here is select this and pull it out. Select this, pull this out. That's better. It gives me a bit more room now. And let's do this one right here. So that's looking really good. Hmm. Now when I draw this in Fusion 360, I'm going to have that as the origin. Yep, yep, yep. Is there anything else I've neglected to do? Got the arc here. That's going to be an intersect. Uh, that's going to be an intersect. Oh, what about that distance there? What about there? Yeah, that's a good one. Horizontal dimensioning, and I want the distance from here to there. That's a good dimension. Okay. I think we're there. I think we're looking good. Okay, let's, let's cross our fingers. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, good. Right, I'm going to go with it. Um, oh, uh, how about the... Yeah, I'll do that as well. How about the distance from there to there? And again, I've not got much space there, but maybe if I do that, that's okay. Yeah, okay, let's run with that. I'm going to stop there. Well, okay, that's like seven, eight minutes. I think I'm going to stop there. Um, and in the next video, I'm going to go to Fusion 360 and I'm going to attempt to recreate this as a sketch in Fusion 360. So remember, this will be laser cut to create the, the acrylic top face here and Fusion 360 will be used to create this 3D extruded letter profile, which is going to be a serif A.